Hello there, geographers, and welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. Today, we're going to be talking about Unit 3, Topic 2. We're going to be looking at the cultural landscape. The cultural landscape of a society is made up of different cultural, economic, and physical features. This includes society's land use patterns. It also includes their agricultural patterns, industrial practices, the different types of architecture, or cultural components such as the religious breakdown, languages used, or evidence of sequent occupation. Real quick sidebar, sequent occupancy is how cultures have modified and changed an area over the course of history. Throughout history, different cultures have left their mark on a place, and some of those have stayed to this day, and they impact the cultural landscape of the modern day. And lastly, we could talk about the physical features of a geographic location, such as mountains, rivers, is there snow, or is it more of a desert? All of these things would define the cultural landscape of an area. And when geographers analyze the cultural landscape, they're looking to see for spatial patterns. How do those patterns change over time? How do they change between different regions? All of these things things help shape and identify unique cultural landscapes. By understanding the cultural landscape, not only do we gain a better insight into the culture that resides there and how they've shaped the terrain, but we also see some different cultural elements that will reside in that specific place. For example, we could see women's roles in the economy or in society. What are gender roles? Are they traditional or are they more modern? We could also see how much diversity is there. Sometimes when looking at the cultural landscape, we gain more from seeing things that aren't there than even seeing the things that are. To really illustrate these points, let's actually look at some examples. What I want you to do right now is take 10 seconds, or if you need more time, just pause this video and analyze this image on the screen right now. When you're ready, unpause the video, and I'm going to go over a bunch of different observations, things about the cultural landscape that you'll want to get used to picking up on. <music> And that's time. All right, right away, one of the first things that I noticed was that there's a lot of people in this photo. It's pretty densely populated. We don't have a lot of space in between everyone. I also noticed that people are wearing pretty modern clothes, and I can see both men and women in the photo. And from the looks of it, it seems to be kind of 50-50 between the two genders. I also can see that the men and women aren't necessarily wearing different styles of clothing. Now, from the looks of the photo, it looks like we're in a market, but I can also see in the skyline that we actually have a city here. So I can conclude that this is probably in an urban area, and from the looks of it, it also looks fairly developed. Now, when looking at the market, I can also see these red lanterns, and I can see that the signs are in Japanese. And if we look again out to the distance, I can notice that the billboards that are from the city skyline are also in Japanese. So this would lead me to believe that this picture is from Japan. And we can see even further evidence as we look at the architecture of some of the buildings and even just the items being sold in the market. And in fact, this photo is taken from Japan. It's actually from Tokyo. All these different things make up the cultural landscape, and we can identify different aspects of it just from looking at a photo. All right, let's take a little bit more time to practice. Let's look at another photo. And that's time. Okay, so right away I can notice that I'm actually looking at another market. However, already I notice that this location is definitely not as developed as our last one. I can also see that the men and women are dressed differently. Women in this photo are wearing a lot more traditional clothes. I can see that women have hijabs on, which leads me to believe that the dominant religion of this location could be Islam. I also notice that we're still in an urban area. I can see some of the buildings behind the market, and I can also notice that the cars and mopeds are on the street. But when I'm looking at these vehicles, I can also see I don't see any new cars or more expensive models. The fact that we're actually seeing more mopeds than cars leads me to believe again that we're in a developing area. Now, also when looking at this image, I notice that there is a lot of umbrellas around the market, and I can see some palm tree leaves on the roof, which leads me to believe I'm in an area with a warmer climate. 
I also noticed that people are selling food in the market and most of those people are women and children, which could mean this society has traditional gender roles. And even when looking at the market, I can see the fish are being sold not in freezers, but on planks of wood on top of barrels and buckets. This leads me again to think that this area has less access to wealth. And this photo was actually taken in Indonesia. Now throughout this class, you're gonna be looking at a lot of different photos. You're gonna be looking at a lot of different cultures and cultural landscapes. And one thing I wanna remind you is when we're doing photo analysis, it's a great tool for us to better understand the cultural landscape of an area. But at the same time, it's just a photo. It's limited in what we're looking at. And it's important to note that because we can't necessarily judge a culture based on one photo. Now in order to make sure you're really getting this, I've included one more photo that looks at the cultural landscape. What I want you to do is analyze this photo. Look for different cultural aspects that make up the cultural landscape. Remember to be looking for how the land use patterns are formed. What agricultural patterns are there? Industrial practices, the different types of architecture, cultural components such as the religious breakdown, languages used, evidence of sequent occupancy, and the physical features just in general. And once you think you figure it all out, make sure you go down to the comment section of this video and check your answers. That way you can see if you're getting this concept or if you need a little bit more practice. And while you're down there, consider subscribing. It's a great way to support the channel and it's just an easy click away. All right, my name's Mr. Sin. Thank you so much for watching this video, geographers. Until next time, I'll see you online.